Hello and welcome to another episode of Mason's Chicken Sandwich Reviews. I'm Mason, and today we return to an old foe of Arby's. Last time I was here, I tried their chicken bacon Swiss sandwich, and I tell you, I kind of disappointed. This time I'm trying their original chicken sandwich, all right? As basic as it comes, I got it. Here's the bag we're all familiar with here. They got the meats. And again, it's in their box. I feel like getting it in a box can really doom your sandwich because I think when you put it in a box, people expect it to be grand in some sort of sense. So here it is right here. Okay, the original chicken sandwich. This was a $4.49, so with tax, I believe it was $4.70. One, not a bad price. It's gonna be about the same price you pay for any other standard chicken sandwich out there. They have their chicken patty, a good old dollop of mayo, <laughs> really just in that one spot. That's okay, I'll move it around. They have lettuce, and they have a couple tomatoes on there. All right, I'll try not to drop any more, but here it is. They also have it on that star cut bun that I saw, I, I think last time, and I'm a fan of that bun. It's a pretty looking bun. It's different. Arby's, here we go, the original chicken sandwich. Okay, 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 okay! So first thoughts. You said their chicken does have some flavor on there. The first bite, I really tasted the texture of the crispy chicken sandwich. And within that crispy chicken sandwich, I could taste a decent amount of seasoning, whether that it's just salt. Not too bad, not too bad. So there we have it right here. Not a huge chicken breast whatsoever. Okay, okay. This is a pretty image I see when eating a sandwich is when you kind of have some of that mayo and lettuce falling out the bottom right there. I honestly am pretty impressed with the flavor so far coming from the chicken. So we'll see how everything else works with the chicken for the rest of the sandwich. It was a good decision on their part to put in a box because I find that it is pretty messy. A lot of the lettuce has fallen out in the process and a box just really gives us that second chance to grab the lettuce, grab those condiments and throw them right back on there. And I will say too, the lettuce was able to stay crunchy the entire time. And uh, you like a good crunch, you don't want to get too wilty, you don't want to get to just turn into these like sad greens that, that are sitting on your sandwich. Not a bad sandwich at all, Arby's. You really redeemed yourself after I tried your uh, chicken bacon Swiss sandwich. So as for your OG chicken sandwich classic, chicken, very tasty. Though it wasn't huge, it had flavor throughout the entire thing. The bun would look nice, it did its job, it was a little bit different than anything else we see. The mayo had a little bit of sweetness to it and it was able to kind of counteract the saltiness of the chicken. It really gave it some depth. From the couple bites I took of a tomato, they were fine. If you like tomatoes, congratulations. And they put a decent uh, handful of lettuce on there. I like shredded lettuce better than a, a leaf of lettuce. I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of it. I'm a fan of this sandwich. So it racks up really like really nicely to any other uh, chicken sandwich that any other fast food is throwing out there. So I'm going to give you 7.25 out of 10. Arby's, delicious sandwich. I'm glad I came back. I'm glad you got a redemption. Arby's, thank you for coming on the show. And then for everyone else who watched this episode, thank you so much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.